It's been a topic of contention since Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bissessa announced the decision to co-sponsor the United Nations Security Council against the Islamic States. Once again defending the decision, National Security Minister Gary Griffith says by co-sponsoring, Trinidad and Tobago is showing that it is not a soft target. We have, we have tried to turn Trinidad and Tobago into a hard target. And if it is we did not co-sponsor, we would have been a soft target. And that is where the terrorists, they, they have learned now to soft target um, institutions, countries that proper security policies are not implemented and by doing that it will allow them to be able to put that hit on on those on those vulnerable countries and institutions so us co-sponsoring something should be seen as nothing other than a prime minister who had the political will to do what is required to ensure that our country is safe and to and to provide that and to first to become that hard target from terrorist activity the minister believes Trinidad and Tobago will be provided with real-time information on terrorist acts. He says this action in return will provide a better working relationship between Trinidad and Tobago and international allies. The critical aspect to secure our country is that information being fed in real time of the watch list of persons of interest to get information of individuals, groups that may be deemed um, enemies of the state, aiding and abetting terrorist activity, funding terrorist acti activity, um, and being involved in, in all aspects. So terrorism is not just persons with with, uh, with, with, uh, with an explosive around them and they, and, they, and they pull a pin. It involves a lot more. The National Security Minister notes that Trinidad and Tobago is not alone in its support. In fact, he said the country is only one of 100 to support the co-sponsored UN resolution. Minister Griffith says while doing this action, the country is building international intelligence that can benefit to local law enforcement. Murray Hall, C News.